hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to make the product quantity increment and decrement in our Django e-commerce so previously we had made this product view page where we displayed all the product details and along with the description and add to cart button and add to wishlist button so now we are going to make this increment and decrement button so when we press on this plus icon so this thing should increment to 2 and then 3 and if we press on the minus then it has to decrease so let's get started with it so we'll go back to the code and here we have the let me just close the sidebar so as you can see over here for the minus symbol i have given a class name as decrement button and for the plus i have given here it as uh, increment btn okay so on this click we are going to fetch the value of this text box so let us give a class name to this text box as well so we're going to say quantity input save and now for this on click button on click action we are going to use the jquery so first let us go and get the js for that search for jquery cdn link you'll get this jquery cdn first link and here we will take this minified and just copy this url copy and paste it in a new tab and you will get the code over here so just copy this name over here go back to your code and where we have our side our static just create a folder for js and right click and create a new file with this name jquery 3. Point whatever the version you are using and here we will paste this code copy and paste and then just save it save and close and we'll go back to our main template and here we need to import it we'll just scroll down and here before this bootstrap we need to include that we'll just open a script tag over here and close the script tag Say script src. We are going to say static and call it from the JS path slash JS. The file name I'll just copy it from here itself. Copy and paste. I'll save the file and then we need to create another js file over here it's a new file and we will call it custom.js and here we are going to say jq doc and jq click so the selector is the class name which we have given it over here we have decrement button just copy that and go to your custom.js put a dot over here and paste it so this is for the decrement copy and our first we'll just make for one and then we will change it so first we'll go with the increment just copy that increment btn so firstly we are going to create a variable and say variable inc value equal to so we are going to say jq find and here just say this dot closest function and here just we need to give a class name over here inside our card there we have to give a class name so let us name it as product data i'll just copy that and paste it over here so closest of product data find the selector to over here so what we have to find that text box value so where is that input here it is let's close the sidebar and let me just zoom in so here we have given this class name right quantity input copy that and paste it over here with a dot say dot val 
so we are fetching that value and then we are just going to create another variable and the variable name is going to be value and we are going to parse int this value which we are having inc value comma 10 or here so this is the base value so you have 2 as your binary 10 as your decimal and 16 as hexadecimal we are just converting it to integer and then we are checking it over here value is equal to is not a number and we are just passing that value and we are using the ternary so if it is not a number then we are assigning 0 else whatever the value is there the same thing we will just assign it and then we are checking if value is less than 10 open close brackets then we are just incrementing the value value plus plus and just copy this thing copy and paste and in this value just pass this variable name and it will set the value over there so save and make sure you have included this in your main template or it is just check yeah here so just copy and paste and inside our js we have custom.js So if you want you can add a comment over here so it will be clear so this is for the bootstrap and this is our jquery and this thing is our custom js save and now let us check the output go back to the browser and refresh so we need to load the static tag wherever we are using that so in our view so in the main template yeah here we are using the static tag right so on top of the page we need to give that load static let me just say load static save and refresh and here it is so let me just press this it's not coming let us inspect go to your console and you can see is none is not defined let's just check what's wrong okay so this n has to be in capital so the uppercase and now let us check refresh so you can see the value has changed over here and again if I click so it is going to go up to 10 and then it is not incrementing anymore that is because we have checked it over here if it is less than 10 only then we are incrementing it so this is just to limit any product to 10 quantity the user can purchase only 10 quantity of any product so similarly we need to make the decrement button as well so I'll just copy the code and paste it here and the class name we need to take it from here decrement button just copy that and paste decrement button so here we will just rename the variable to decrement value copy that and paste it over here so these things are still going to be the same that same value we are fetching and that value we are just converting it to integer and then we are checking if is not a number then zero else the same value and here we are checking if the value is greater than one then we are just going to decrement that value minus minus and then we are appending that value so save and now refresh so if you decrement this now it is not less than one so it is not going to decrement let me increment it now let me decrement and you can see it is reducing so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the product increment and decrement in the next video we will be seeing how to make the add to cart functionality in our django e-commerce please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you